Can you hear me? Exactly. Okay, that's nice. My name is Phoebe. Nice to meet you. So good to see you, Phoebe. What's your name? My name is a uh, 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 just a minute. It's like freeze. Which? Oh. Yeah. My name is Poppy. Poppy. Nice to meet you, Poppy. How are you today? <laughs> I'm full of beans. Why? Uh, I mean to say I'm go getter. I'm energetic. I'm enthusiastic. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm super elated, uh, like uh, to having a reservation with you. Oh, thank you. Where are you from, Poppy? I'm from India. Oh, nice. What part of India? Uh, from northern India. Northern India. Mm-hmm. I really yeah. want to visit India one day. Yeah, from capital city. Hmm. Very nice. I. Uh, well, should we start with introductions? I can go first. Uh, of course. So my name is Phoebe. I'm from Australia. However, I have lived in many different countries for the past ten years. I lived in China, Singapore, and right now I live in South Korea. Um. I really love music. I like to sing and play piano and guitar. Um, but I also love to play sport. I like mm-hmm. to play basketball. Mm-hmm. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, Poppy? That's cool. That's cool. All about you. That is so fascinating. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Poppy? Yeah. So it's my turn to introduce myself. My name is Poppy, and I am from India, as you already know, from capital city, India. Mm. And uh, in my free time. Uh, I like to being out in nature, riding on bicycle, and uh, I'm into reading. Hmm. What do you like to read? Uh, most of time, I would like to read about uh, philosophy and um, uh, fiction book. Mm. Philosophy. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. What type of philosophical books do you like to read? Oh, what type of philosophical? Do you know, uh, for having better understanding, uh, the life like uh, how we can live in perfect harmony without any yeah. like t- trouble. Like how can we understand each other uh, perfectly? Like how c- can we have a like rapport in our life with person? Yeah, how the about related to existence? These type of very interesting is um do you read them in English or Hindi or in a different dialect or mm, um I can say I read in both of languages so if I find in any language like Hindi or English I can choose like bilingual any. Mm. So why did you decide to start taking lessons on Engu? Just to improve your English, or are you practicing for a test, or? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, like uh, I'm, this language is quite fascinating for me from my childhood, and uh, like I wanna be an English professor, and I love English language. I like to be immersed myself in learning English always. So that is the reason, and I can say there is no better way. There is no comparison. To learn with natives. Mm. Yes, I think Engu is a really nice place for people to practice their conversational English with native English speakers. Indeed. So I saw your request that you wanted just to have a free conversation today. Of course, we have a like smooth conversation. <laughs> Do you have any topic that you want to talk about, or any questions, or um? Anything really? Of or, course. So, what's your favorite word? My favorite word. Exactly. Oh, my favorite word is um, recapitulation. <laughs> it's a Greek to me. It's Greek to me. Would you like to write it down? Yes. It's actually a music word. Mm-hmm. Um, but I like the definition. So in music, um, 
in sonata songs, there's three different sections. And in the last section is a recapitulation. And it takes the beginning ideas and it plays them again, but it changes them. And then it ends um, like in a perfect harmony and cadence. Mm -hmm. And I like what a recapitulation uh, symbolizes. But mm-hmm. I also like the word. I think it sounds cool. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It is uh, so amazing to hear about your favorite word. And it is related to music as well. Mm. What's your favorite word? Uh, my favorite word is... Uh, I like uh, the word most... Uh, super califragilistic expialidocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> Have you ever watched Mary Poppins? Uh, not yet. I have never watched, but I watched some clips of that movie from that movie. You should watch it if it's your favorite song, uh, your favorite word, because they sing a whole song about it. Uh, but uh, I have listened that so many. Times. Your reservation is only open for this time. Oh, yeah. That's it. Uh, so, what is your favorite song? One, I would like the name of that song is uh, Delala. Oh, Delala? Exactly. The, is it the, hey there, Delala, what's it like in New York City? Is it that one? Exactly. No. Uh, yeah, that song. Is it that one? <laughs> yeah, I know that song. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, would you like to sing it for me? Okay. <laughs> Do you live in um Delhi, the capital? Uh, exactly. I live in New Delhi. Mm, New Delhi. Mhm. What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, riding on bicycle in nature. Is there a lot of nice nature in New Delhi? Exactly. Here are you can say, I'm living in a like countryside area. So nice. I I love Indian food, and I think that the architecture in India is very beautiful. Mm-hmm. So it's one of my places that I really want to go and visit. Mm-hmm. E- exactly. You should have to be warm welcome. Mm, thank you. One day when coronavirus is not as annoying. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's better than before now. That's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, how is it now? Like, it is. Are you guys in lockdown or are you allowed to go out? What is the situation like? We are allowed to go outside, but we have to be take care about our health by ourselves. Mm. So, do you, a lot of people still stay inside or? No, uh, Liam, we can go wherever we want, but we still follow precaution. Mm. But some, like does everyone wear masks? Uh, for everyone I can't say to being honest with you but I can say like some people who are health conscious they would like to wear mark, mask and has most people been able to get the vaccination? Uh, the you can say fif- more than 50 crore people are vaccinated till now uh, yeah. Mm, that's good. You. So how are you going to spend your weekend, Bobby? Uh, how I'm going to spend it? Like, uh, I'm having examination uh, for... Uh, so, I, I'm preparing for my examination. 
nowadays mm, what part of examination uh i'm having like a, you know i'm majoring in history and english literature so these these are mm. what's your favorite type of history what type of history so nowadays we are reading about uh, uh, you know like medieval history about mughal kal interesting mm-hmm. i i've been uh, learning about medieval music history <laughs> mm-hmm. that's so, cool. so time period but very different subjects <laughs> mhm exactly you find it interesting pardon me please do you find it interesting learning about medieval history mm, of course uh, i'm not uh, only just uh, want to learn about medieval history you can say in our semester system and like you can say there is a lot of time to read like 3 years so you can yeah. say in every year you are going to find different different one mm. what's your favorite thing or the most interesting thing that you've learned so far what's the most interesting thing i have learned so far uh, there are many i would like to share about you know the time i like most when buddha take birth that when pardon? when what like B- buddha born that time oh yes of course mhm and uh, i really like teaching of from buddha uh, and that time like what type of pe- people living at that time these type of things i really like about king yeah about king like what type of ruler at that time these things yes i feel like my history knowledge is not very extensive mm-hmm. but um i think it's something i want to take more interest in learning mhm of course i really i like to learn new things mhm so what is the most like newest thing you have learned now recently Uh recently um I was learning about the a uh, very very beginning of music in medieval periods um and I learned that there was a type of instrument called a lyre which I had never heard of mm-hmm. um which kind of like a harp but a little bit different and I learned that the first um known composer of music and uh author was a woman actually which was very surprising cuz uh, after that it was all men um it was called Ehudwana or something a very quite difficult name mm-hmm. um and he used to create songs to worship to um uh gods from Mesopotamia um like the moon god and another god and yeah very interesting exactly i have already read that the one about it, about that system out there uh, mm. you can say there is a one like term like usha something they say to uh, you know like moon something like there is a goddess of uh, like war also these type of things at that time about mesopotamia i have already read mm. Yeah, I knew nothing about Mesopotamia, so I'm like trying to teach myself different things. Mm-hmm. Exactly, that's amazing. Mm. Yes, that's good. So, what's your favorite um Indian food, Bobby? Uh, my favorite food is a uh, chole kulchi. Mm, I'm not familiar with that. Can you tell me what it is? Uh, that is a type of uh, like refined flour type of like chapati like naan oh. and uh, mm-hmm. uh, like you can say that is a type of uh, you know like chole is a type of uh, a thing like pulse like pulse we like to take in our uh, diet like full of protein like chickpea white chickpea i got that one word white chickpea white chickpeas 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. My favorite um, Indian food is palak paneer. Palak paneer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, exactly. <laughs> you are like That's a, my yeah. You are like a, like most of people. If you ask what's your favorite food, they say paneer. Like most of people like paneer. They can say shahi paneer, oh. kadhai paneer, and uh, palak mm. paneer. As your favorite. Mm. But I live in Korea, and there's no good Indian food here. Mm-hmm. It tastes doesn't taste like real Indian food. In mm-hmm. Singapore, the Indian food was really good, but in Korea, it's not very good. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So what, you, ha, no. please go on. No, 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 you go, you go. No, no, please you go. You are asking me. <laughs> So what um have you done any travel abroad Bobby, or have you always just been in India? Uh, no, I have never ever traveled uh, like overseas, but I have traveled many uh, like four to five minimum uh, like Indian states mm. like Rajasthan. Do you want to travel overseas? Of course, if I have the opportunity, I will surely. I would go Times Square. Oh really? Exactly. Interesting. Mhm. Uh, cause the like lights are so fascinating. Like I like light light so much, and uh, high mm. like uh, that type of lifestyle I would like to visit. Like how they are living, and uh, apart from that, second preference would be Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Northern Lights. Oh, the Northern Lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really want to see the Northern Lights as well. Of course, in Norway, especially particularly, I would like to for seeing for watching Northern Lights. Hmm. I love stars and. The northern lights are so amazing. How mm-hmm. it can happen? Yeah, so so amazing. Okay, so my question is that: uh, Do you have something like uh, you know? Uh, you become now like uh, old. Like when are you a child? Is there something you miss about your uh, about your kid time? Like when you are a kid, you like to do something. But you know, mm. now you become old or like uh, like grown up, uh, so you can't do that activities uh, for you know being a, a like adult person, like being a grown up. So do you miss something mm. about uh, from your childhood? Like, uh, is there any activity or something? Would you like to share with me? Yeah, sure. I miss I miss not having technology mm-hmm. because. I played a lot more. I have an older brother, and we grew up on a farm in Australia, mm-hmm. and never had internet or phones or laptops, of course, because we were young. But also, they weren't, you know, a thing. And we would just spend all day, every day, playing outside. Um, whereas when we started to get older and we had phones and laptops, mm-hmm. we kind of stopped doing that. So I guess I miss like not having technology and playing. Okay, so if you have the chance to do you not know, to choose like uh, like online games or like outside games like playing in uh, playground. So what game would you choose? Oh, outside, of course. Mhm. Yeah, I like I love being outside. Yeah, okay. so definitely. So, what's the best thing you have learned from sports? Oh, sports is. I never used to like playing team sports. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why I didn't like it, but then, oh, uh, like three, four years ago, I started to really love playing basketball, and I realized how um, mindset is the biggest thing with sport, like. 
skill-wise, my team wasn't the best compared to other teams. But we all put in a lot of effort in getting to know each other on a more personal level. And being and that made us work as a team so much more. Um, and we always went into our games with a really, really good mindset. And we actually would normally win, even though our skill wasn't as good. Because we knew each other better and were able to work as a team a lot better than other teams. Mm-hmm. So I, I learned the importance of communication and mindset from playing sport. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. Interesting. For me... You have her? Pa- pa- pardon me, please. No, I was just saying, gonna say you have good questions, but what would you say? Uh, what would you say? My next question. Just give me a minute to then. Um, uh, when did you say what? something about yourself? Mm. So, do you have any favorite artist? Um, like, not really. I don't really look at much art. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what about uh, like nowadays? Like, is there any music band? Do you like to listen something? Is there particular um, I, one? I listen to music all day, every day. Like, I listen to a lot of music. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so do you believe that? Uh, like music is the best way f- for you know uh, uh, to express art. Do you believe that? Yeah. Do you agree on that? For me, I, I think so. Um, but that's because like, it's the only way that I feel accessible to express art and like emotions. But I guess like if someone did a lot of drawings, they would probably disagree with me. What do you think? Exactly. I can say. To being a music lover, I really like music and I'm like, you know, the thing is don't matter what type of situation I have, like a down situation, but due to music, I am always super ecstatic, elated, uh, like empowered by music, like there are some songs, if I listen for a single time, I can say everything is my mind, you can say with positive vibes. Full of positive vibes. I agree. Do you like also listening to Indian music? Uh, pardon me, please. Do you like listening to Indian music? I like to listen to Indian music and uh, and Coldplay, Billie Eilish, uh, Sia, like Sia also. My favorite one, Sia. Oh, Sia is Australian. Yeah, <laughs> uh, she's living in US now. I am unstoppable I, I, today, I am unstoppable today, that one song, have you heard about, I am unstoppable today. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yes, I do know that song, mm-hmm. he has got some very good music. Um, but Poppy, I have just realized that nearly our time is up for today, mm-hmm. um, but it was nice talking to you, thank you for uh, talking with me. Exactly. Uh, so, is it comfortable to you know, like any song uh, which you like most? Would you like to repeat like one or two lines? I would like to listen your like music, like how uh, is your singing style? Uh, let me give you two songs. I'll find some. Mm-hmm. Um, there's one Is, you know, uh, I would like to be listen from your side, like, uh, is your singing style? No! No, you should be, uh, I don't want to sing right now. Please, uh, please. Okay. If it's, it's the end of the lesson, okay. it's the end of the lesson, I have to go now. Okay, no worries, if you, no worries, no worries. Okay, have a good day, Poppy. Of course, bye bye. So when will this lesson end? Uh, you have to end it by clicking okay. on the end button. Mm-hmm. Okay.